Well, hello and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday with Certus. My name is Carlson and today our topic is what is natural smoke ventilation? Let's start the timer and find out. Natural smoke ventilation really took off following research by the National Research Council of Canada in 1971. They had an experimental 10-storey tower block with corridors, stair cores and lift shafts so they could simulate real fires inside a building. Further research was carried out and compiled by the BRE in the 1980s. This really consolidated all of our learning on natural smoke ventilation systems and a lot of it still applies in legislation today. Natural ventilation systems use products such as head of shaft vents, head of stair vents, shaft vents, facade windows, facade louver blades and control systems. A typical natural system has a one and a half square meter shaft running up through the building. At least one of its dimensions must be 850 millimeters. It must also be one square meter at every internal point. At every level there will be a one square meter vent going into the shaft there will be a one square meter vent at the head of the shaft. There's also a one square meter vent at the head of stairs to allow for air inlet. The system is typically triggered by a fire alarm activation. This then will open the head of stair vent and the head of shaft vent. The vent on the floor of fire origin will then open too. Every other vent into the shaft will be locked out, although this can be overridden by firefighters. The reason for locking out the other vents is so that there's no smoke contamination between floors. The system works using the buoyancy of the hot gases. Essentially, the shaft acts as a giant chimney. Systems can also instead use facade ventilation, although this isn't recommended for firefighters shafts above 30 meters. It is important to note that the shaft must open at roof level and must be 500 millimeters taller than any structure within two meters. It must also extend two and a half meters above the finished ceiling height of the highest floor that it serves. So, that's an introduction to natural smoke ventilation systems. There is a lot more detail to natural smoke ventilation systems. This is covered in depth in approved document B. We also cover it in more depth in our smoke ventilation CPDs. If you're interested in booking one of these, be free to comment below. This brings me to the end of another two minute Tuesday. I hope these are proving helpful to you. I hope you're enjoying them. If you can think of more topics that you'd like to learn about, please drop them in the comments below. Next week's topic will be mechanical ventilation. I can't wait to share it with you and I'll look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks and goodbye.